What's happening dogs? Mr. Allen here with some surface area problems. We got ourselves a square base pyramid and a rectangular prism and we're gonna find the total surface area of both of these. Now rule of thumb here when it comes to surface area is we're just adding up all the sides. And when things get a little crazy like a cone or maybe a cylinder, they get some of their own special type of formulas. But for these guys, it's triangles, squares, rectangles. No big deal, let's get after it. All right, so square base pyramid. That just means that my base is a square, okay? It does look kind of like a rhombus here, but that's for like the 3D effect, if you will. It is still a square, it's a 10 by 10 square. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the area of my base, which I'm gonna notate with an uppercase B or big B, right? And that's gonna be 10 times 10, that's 100 feet squared or 100 square feet. Lovely, fantastic, excellent, all right. Now on to the lateral area, which is the area that wraps around like this, right? Those are all triangles here. So how am I gonna figure out the area of a triangle? Well, let's jot that down real quick. So we got area of a triangle, that's one half base times height, okay? Now notice I said base here, but it's a capital B, it's because it's the area of the base of the solid. Little b, lowercase b, that's a linear dimension. So the uppercase and lowercase letters in math do have significance to them. So be careful with that, don't interchange them sloppily, right? There is meaning between lowercase and uppercase letters. Okay, so what which dimensions are my base and my height? Well, it can be helpful to redraw one of these triangular faces flat, okay? So I'm gonna take this triangle here. I've got my height right there. That's my 13 feet right there, boom. And my 10 is my base, beautiful. So what's that 12, you might be wondering? Well, that's the height of the pyramid itself, whereas the 13, that's the slant height of the pyramid, it's the height on the face of it. The 12 comes into play when we talk about volume, but we're talking about surface area, so we're using the dimensions that are on the surface of this figure. Excellent. So area of our triangle is gonna be then, let's see here, one half, base, which is times 10, times the height, which is 13, so that is 65 feet squared for one of those faces. How many of those triangles do we have? We've got four. So if I multiply that by four, so times four, let's see, let's do it right here. Let's go with lateral area is gonna be four times 65. So that's gonna be what, 260? It's almost easier to think of it as the 130 before we, cut, before we cut it in half and then multiply that to get 260. Okay, so 260 feet squared. So my total surface area, I'll do this in a different color here. Let's go with this yellowish color. Total surface area, not TSA. We're not checking bags here, okay? We are checking the math. So I'm gonna have 100 plus 260. That's gonna be 360 feet squared for this entire square base pyramid. Nice, excellent, fantastic. Recap, find the area of the square, find the area of the triangles, add them all together, that's total surface area. Cool. All right, let us continue. We'll go green this time. All right, rectangular prism. This means that all my faces are rectangles or squares, okay? It's a prism, whereas a pyramid comes to a point, a prism has two of the same bases. And in this case, really, you could think of any of these opposite sides of this three-dimensional figure being your bases, okay? So I don't really think about bases when we're talking about rectangular prism, only when we're talking about other types, like say like a, a pentagonal uh, prism or a hexagonal prism, things like that, another time. All right, so I just need to get all my faces in order here, okay? So it looks like I've got a, a, a two foot by a four foot one here on the bottom. So let's say the area of that one, um, let's see here, it's gonna be two of those, right? Cause it's gonna be the bottom and the top of the four foot by two foot. That's gonna be two times eight, which is 16. I'm gonna leave the units off for now, okay? And then I've also got um, this four foot by six foot on the front there and on the back of that figure as well. So we got two of those. So there's my two for that. And then we've got four foot by six foot. So that's two times 24. That's gonna be 48 square feet. And then the last one, hmm, what are the dimensions of that gonna be? Well, this six right here is the same as this, this guy right here, right? And same with the two, the two could be right here as well. In any event, we can see that we have a six foot by two foot face as well. We got two of those, right? Six by two, that's gonna be two times 12. Oops, 12 which is gonna be what, 24? So we add these all up, add them all up. Um, 16 plus 24 is pretty easy, right? That's gonna be 40, plus 48 is gonna be 88. 88 feet squared. That is my total 
surface area of this rectangular prism. Again, people talk about like lateral area. They talk about the ones that wrap around. So if like the two foot by four foot was our base and the top is our base, then the six by twos and the six by fours would be like our lateral area. I don't really get into specifics with that when it comes to rectangular prisms because it's kind of ambiguous as to which one's the base, right? With square base pyramid, it's the triangles that are the lateral area, hence why I put LA. And the square there is our base, which is why I got big B, making the total surface area when I add them together. Yes, yes. That's dope, man. Awesome, fantastic, wonderful. You guys have a fantastic day and enjoy finding some more total surface areas if you're getting after it right now. See ya.